And Frank, her family, and four others lived in secret during the Holocaust for more than two years, tucked away behind a false bookcase in a building in the Dutch city of Amsterdam. Frank wrote about her experiences in her diary, an account that became one of the most read books in the world. But in 1944, they were discovered, and the following year, she died in a Nazi concentration camp. In the decades since, the mystery of who betrayed the Franks, leading to a raid on their secret annex, has remained unsolved. Well, on Sunday, 60 Minutes, John Wertheim sits down with an investigator whose team is using modern techniques to try to answer that question. Before long, suspects emerge, dozens of them, like Willem van Maren, an employee in the warehouse where the Franks were hiding, whom the Dutch police had interviewed in their investigations. He was prime suspect number one after the war. He's working downstairs in the warehouse. He was very shifty, suspicious, actually a thief. So you say shifty, suspicious thief, and yet you eliminated him as a suspect. Not a betrayer, though. He was not anti-Semitic. Um, he had incentive not to betray them because if he did, he would have lost his job. The business would have been closed. What specifically are you looking for when you're considering suspects? We're looking at, did they have the knowledge? We look at their motive. You know, what would the motive be? Were they anti-Semitic? Um, were they trying to do this for money? And then opportunity, were they even in town? So this knowledge, motive, opportunity, that's... I'm guessing what you're using when you're infiltrating drug cartels? I mean, this is standard FBI It's technique. standard law enforcement technique. It's an intriguing well, mystery. Yes, wow. I don't and know that's anybody. That's never been answered. I think we'd probably all read Diary of a Nan Frank, yeah. her book. I read it as a little girl, and I was deeply affected by it because you keep thinking about what her life must have been like, what her family must have been like, and how afraid they must have been. In two years, it, think about that. That's, that's how long they were in hiding. That's yes. the entire pandemic. You're behind a false wall. And the tragedy of the Anne Frank story is that they were given up and died just before just the war was allies. over and the camps the were liberated. Camps. liberated. Yes. Unbelievable story. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that you can watch it this Sunday on 60 Minutes.